bronze medalist the African this year champion, the world the indoor bronze medalist. He looks cool and composed. Could he become a Commonwealth champion? Josh Kerr, the Olympic bronze medalist, the former European junior champion. Ollie Hall, bidding to follow in the magnificent footsteps of Herb Elliott. He's a brilliant racer, Ollie Hall. Matt Stonier, six in the national champs, but he was second in Stockholm. He's only 20. What an exciting young talent he is. Neil Gawley is the third of the Scots going here, recovering from COVID. Possibly contributed to his semi final exit the from the world, world champs. And Scotland, listen to the reception for the newly crowned world champion, Jake if Whiteman. The arguably the favourite, but brilliant in the semis, we shall Canada, see. Will Paulson. William Paulson, Pan American bronze and medalist, four, was born in Tetbury in Gloucestershire and emigrated Zealand. to Sam Canada. Tanner. Sam Tanner of New Zealand, knocked out in the semis in Eugene, but he's a canny racer, as is Jake Hayward, European Wales, junior Jake champion Hayward. a few years ago. He was ninth in the Olympic final last year. The silver medalist last time. Can the Timothy world Chariot, the former world champion and Olympic silver medalist, rediscover the form that took him to the world crown in Doha three and years ago? And on the inside, Elliot Giles of England, the Birchfield Harrier. So many great performances over 800 metres, this his it's second best distance, line. but remember it's he has run 3.33. The world champion, the African champion, the Olympic silver and bronze medalists. This is one of the highest quality finals we will see here at the Commonwealth Games in 2022. What an electric atmosphere on the start line for the men's 1500. <laughs> the lineup for this race tells us it could be a very, very special showdown over three and a three-quarter laps. And judging by the early pace, they are not hanging around. Faleli of South Africa has gone to the front. Tim, what an absolute privilege to be seeing a lineup of this quality. It could be very, very special, this race. Well, it could indeed, although I'm intrigued to see that Chariot has not gone to the front because he loves to front run. He's moving up there about fourth and fifth and left at the moment down the outside. Normally he'd go through, but it is quick. They've gone through 300 in about 41 seconds, Rob. I'm thinking about Jake Whiteman. How do you beat him? He has a massive kick and he can do that, use that kick off a fast pace. He's got all the cards. He's there, he has left a picture in about seventh place at the moment on the outside, doing everything just right. But 54.87, a very quick opening 400. Kip Sang was the fastest man in the world this year, heading in to Eugene. His place at the top on the times has been taken by Jake Whiteman, who's in the middle of your picture, running behind the majestic-looking Ollie Hoare, who's in fourth place. And Hoare can't be ruled out here. An Oceanian record holder over the mile, but it's Kipsang and Sherrod in first and second. Elliot Giles just minding his own business in third. Hayward on the inside as Whiteman, the newly crowned world champion, moves up to fifth with two laps to go. And with two laps to go, Rob, this is the important lap. This uh, effectively penultimate lap is where if they want to tire Whiteman, get away from him, they've got to push on strongly. Chariot has eased himself to the front now. There looks to be almost a bit of teamwork here with Kipsang in second place. But Chariot, over this next two or 300 metres, has really got to make the pace tell. 800 metres there, not uh, as quick, not as quick as second lap as the first lap, but it is fast enough, single file. Whiteman doing everything right, easing up into fourth place. What a moment this would be right here in this stadium. Whiteman bidding to become only the third man in history to win the Commonwealth title and hold the world title at the same time. Steve Cram was the first, then Manangoy of Kenya, but it's Chariot of Kenya leading. The former world champion with that distinctive forward lean. Listen to the roar at the bell. What a final and what a finishing prospect. Chariot from Kipsang. Teamwork at play here, but Chariot is not in the kind of form that he was in Doha three years ago when he won it from the front. Watch for Ollie Hall. He's going to try and find a way through on the inside. Hayward tried to come wide and now tucks back on the inside. And Whiteman now hits the front. 200 metres to go. This is where he went for it. Against Inga Britson in the world final. 
and he's beginning to pull away here from a world-class field. Can he hold on? He isn't home yet. He has a look at the big screen. Chariot trying to close. The former champion against the new world champion. And somehow Chariot's found it. And what's Hall on the outside? Ollie Hall. Oh, it's so close. And I think, I think Ollie Hall has become the first Australian to win this title since Herb Elliott more than 60 years ago. Whiteman struck. Whiteman struck just as he did with 200 to go. But at this time, this time, he couldn't hang on. Chariot came past him on the outside, but none of them, none of them remembered that Ollie Hall was still in it. He's a brilliant racer over the mile. He's a brilliant 1500 meter runner, and he is the man to make history for Australia. This win will mean the world to everybody down under. Herb Elliott, a Commonwealth champion, and now the history books will always read Ollie Hall is a Commonwealth champion as well. Well, that is the peak of Ollie Hall's summer because I don't think he felt he did himself justice at the World Championships, Rob. But this is the coming together of everything for Ollie Hall. He ran 3.32 indoors last winter. That was mighty promising. And now it comes to fruition. 3.30 point, uh, for Ollie Hall. 3.30.12, a game's record. I thought Jake Whiteman looked a little lacklustre. He looked so relaxed when he hit the front with 200 to go. I thought he was cruising around that final bend. And I thought he had another gear, Jake Whiteman. But it wasn't there today. And maybe, just maybe... The uh, exhaustion from that World Championships a couple of weeks back, the celebrations, of course, the inevitable celebrations, and everything that goes with it has drained him a little bit. He looks so easy here, so relaxed, but the extra gear that we're familiar with was not there today. At this stage, he was pulling away, just as he was against Inga Britson in the World Championship final, but they were still there. He's looking up at the screen. He would have realised that Chariot was coming. Kipsang at last was beginning to get tired. Chariot ran really well because he hasn't been in the kind of form that took him to the world title in Doha. And on the outside, just as Chariot thought, the title would be his. His legs began to fade and Ollie Hoare came through and beat him on the line. The significance of this win down under cannot be underestimated. He was almost running in lane four. Well, his dad is a world beach running champion, or was, but Ollie Hoare has just produced the race of his life. He's beaten the former world champion and the newly crowned world champion, and that is what it meant to him at the finish. Do you know, in the last nine Commonwealth Games, Australia haven't got a medal. They haven't been on the rostrum apart from Mark Fountain taking a bronze back in 2006 in Melbourne. Nick Willis won that one. Now they have a champion. And inspect and look at Oli Hoy, just keeps on working down the home straight, kept believing, kept driving on, passing body after body. And I'll tell you what, it was fascinating. Chariot had a little glance to his right with about five metres to go, realised he was in trucks, buckled, and Hoare uh, took advantage of that, eased across the line in what is a very special time, a personal best for him. What a way to take your first ever major championship gold. Brilliant, brilliant race. And I have to say, quite an unexpected result. With all due respect to Ollie Hoare,